Hey, Nick, for you stepping into the starting lineup, has there been an adjustment, uh, uh, excuse me, adjustment even kind of the way you're thinking or the way you're operating out on the court? Uh, I mean, I'd say so. It's more of just being in attack mode from the jump rather than having to sit on the bench for a little bit, then get warmed up and go back out. But, I mean, just coming from warm-ups and then getting right out there and playing and not really thinking as much, uh, it's definitely helped. And I know it was, it was one play with the alley-oop. Um, can you, again, I, I know it's just one play, it was bang, bang, but can you gain off that? Can you gain confidence? Or does that kind of get you going at all in any way? Have you noticed the difference in maybe how you feel or how you approach things even? Uh, I mean, yeah, definitely. Uh, it, it's a huge play in the game. Um, I mean, not only myself, but for everyone, I kind of feel like the energy from the crowd that as soon as it happened, I think we didn't really look back from it. Um, I mean, the, the crowd pop was ridiculous. I mean, we couldn't even hear ourselves think. Um, but no, it's definitely uh, definitely helps with confidence and everything like that. I think this uh, BYU team takes and makes a lot of threes, and you guys have done a better job, I think, of defending the three-point mm -hmm. uh, shot. What have you guys kind of changed up in the last couple of games, if anything, and um, what, do you, what have you seen on tape if you watch them closely? Um, yeah, just like you said, uh, we got to maintain the three. Um, I think they take the most in our league by a pretty good amount. And uh, I mean, they're, they're a high scoring team. So, I mean, we're just going to have to play the defense that we know we're capable of playing and uh, see what happens. Have you guys changed up anything like schematically in the last couple games to the three point defense? Uh, no, not necessarily. I mean, I think we've just uh, been guarding better, um, just beating people to the spots rather than having them throw the first, the first move. Bill on Saturday sounded, you know, like Kevin may not return. Um, how have you all rallied around Kevin through this difficult moment, and how are you all prepared mm -hmm. to possibly move forward and <coughs> for the rest of the year? Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, we obviously all want Kev to, to come back. Uh, he's such a huge part of this team, and he's put us in the position where we're at today. So, I mean, uh, like I said, I mean, we all hope he comes back. Um, but just next man up mentality. I mean, this is, I think, maybe the fifth game that we played without Kev so far. Um, and I feel like in those games, everyone's stepped up bigger than what they normally are playing like when Kev's here. So that's, uh, that's huge for us. And then there's a national conversation about court storming happening right now. Obviously, you're on a team where wherever you guys go, uh, the opposing fans may storm the floor. But what are your thoughts on you know, what should be done to, to make sure guys like you are safe when court storming happens? I mean, I don't really think there's there's much that can happen. I feel like most of the time you kind of, if you're in that position, uh, kind of expect it's going to happen, kind of move towards the sideline. Um, I know in games that it's happened to us already, we're already kind of the game's over, last 15 seconds, so play's kind of dying down, and uh, it just it kind of happens from there. But I don't think they should take it out of the game, no. Nick, one frequent topic of conversation with your guys' defense is how well you're able to switch. As someone who came in this year, just what do you think it is about your guys, whether it's the personnel or the scheme, that makes you able to switch so effectively? Uh, I mean, KJ Adams, um, having him is, is huge. He can guard one through five. So um, knowing that he's always somewhere around you um, is, is crucial with that. And then obviously having uh, Wando being the defensive player he is, um, he can either shut down your, your star player like he did this past weekend, or he can switch one through four just as well as anyone in the country. So just having those two guys on the court at all times is, is huge. And then having Hunt be uh, the anchor for us is, uh, is a big part too. Nick, I want to follow up on Myron's, both of his questions. What are you guys getting from Kevin um, when he's on the bench, when you guys are doing preparation, I mean, I see him. He seems involved. He seems active as much as he can be. How's that helping, and, and what's he giving you? Yeah, I mean, he's been in college forever, just like me. So, I mean, he has a ton of game experience. Uh, he's a leader of our team. Uh, just telling, I mean, not only the younger guys, but myself, like, what he sees, what he thinks we should be doing. Um, and then he's also just being the cheerleader that he is, just rooting everyone on, uh, positive energy the whole time. In, anything extra for you? Slide into that starting spot? Does he pick your or, or get it in your ear a little more mm -hmm. different? Yeah, definitely. I mean, me and Kevin are really close. Uh, so, I mean, anytime there's a timeout, I usually stop by him before I go back out and 
he sees anything or he's will be like keep going keep being aggressive do what you do and, and then just real quick on that court phony thing do they do they talk to you guys about because the whole thing is kind of contact with with the fan right do they talk to you about hey if you get bumped don't react don't do anything just keep moving i mean have you had that conversation or uh no coach self hasn't really uh talked about losing yeah uh, so that was that wasn't one of his pitches when i was getting recruited here it's like hey if we lose on the road they're gonna storm the court on us here's, uh, the, here's the blueprint <laughs> yeah no he doesn't really talk about that but i mean there has been times where uh you can you can see him like he's he's aware of obviously what's gonna happen and he kind of pulls us to the sideline mm -hmm. Did you learn anything about this team against Texas? I think it's at a week off. Obviously, get your legs under you. Probably felt really good. Mm -hmm. Did you learn anything about this team in that game? Uh, yeah, I learned that we're uh, we're very special. Um, I mean, there's there's a ton of great players on the team. Um, I mean, the bench showed up. Uh, we've been seeing it from like myself being a bench player this whole year. Uh, Mari, Marco, Parker. Uh, we all know we're talented. We all know we're here for a reason, and uh, we finally got to to show it in a full game on a national stage. So that was a uh, big boost for all of our uh, confidence, and then just continuing to build off of that. And as coaches last year, in terms of where you guys are in the season on a scale of A to F, where do you think you guys are in terms of just as a team and for the next couple of games that you guys have left? Um, I probably say we're like B range. I mean, I think there's a lot more room for us to grow. Um, and I think we're hitting a stride right now at the perfect time. Um, with February coming to an end, conference tournament coming up, and obviously March Madness, I think uh, hopefully we're, we're only going up from here. Got time for a couple more. BYU is, is, is different for a lot of reasons for people who have been around here. It's you know, a newbie in the conference, but also in the way they play. Uh, I don't know if we currently have any teams that play like this. Jacking up threes and, and relying so much on that. Just talk about that, Nick. And then also, what, what's the difference between you know, you know when when teams really hurt us from beyond the arc and when they don't? Yeah, I mean, three point shot is is a, a huge part of the game nowadays. Um, and just with them shooting, I think the highest they shot in a game was like forty six threes. So, I mean, you're shooting that many threes, you hit fifteen, sixteen. It's kind of difference in the game really. Uh, I mean, when teams hit a lot of threes against us, that's kind of what they're relying on for the, the rest of the game. And, and what are things that, that we don't do? I, I mean, sometimes it's just these, these guys shoot great, but, but are anything that we do or don't do that allows teams to go off from the three on us? Yeah, I'd say most of the times this year, we were just making the teams too comfortable. Um, I think when we make teams uncomfortable, uh, it, it helps us in our favor. Um, we're aggressive on defense. Uh, it doesn't let them really get in their groove as much. Nick, I think you guys did basically three lineups on Saturday. Mm -hmm. How different is that for you guys when it's more waves of substitutions rather than kind of the trickle effect of guys coming in and out? Yeah, I mean, it was that uh, we kind of went over that um, last week in practice. Uh, Coach Self did a great job with that one. Um, and just having Hunt and Warren play so many minutes this year um, and the season coming to an end, uh, if they can play less minutes and save their legs, they look even better than they already are. So uh, the, the wave of subs that we have was, uh, was perfect, I thought. Everyone got their, their legs under themselves and everyone got a chance to play, so. And how different is that continuity-wise where it's a, a set group you're playing with compared to it's this guy and then it's a different mm -hmm. guy and then it's a different guy every few minutes? Um, I don't know, I think that was kind of like the first time in college where I really subbed kind of like in sections like that, which it was different, but I mean, it, it worked out in our favor really well. Um, all week during practice, we were kind of playing in those set groups too, so we were getting more comfortable with each other. What's it been like watching, you know, KJ, who's had to overcome, you know, so much this season, uh, still be the leader that he's been and just the catalyst for this team in many ways? Yeah, I mean, Love KJ to death. Uh, I I don't even know how he's doing it really, um, but I mean he comes into practice every day with a smile on his face. Uh, I mean it's just the person he is, and he attacks everything at full force. Um, and kids just a flat out beast. Thanks.